Go ahead, Shep. I'm trying to keep this still for the thumbnail, so <laughs> we'll see if that works out. But thank you so much for clicking onto this video, and it's all about this little Rifted Rebecca Minkoff bag. And it's sad because I'm not sure of the particular style of this bag. Um, if you do recognise it, um, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I forgot to ask the seller what it was called. But it's thrifted. It was £25 um, UK pounds. I thought it was an absolute bargain because it was brand new. Came with this bag. It just has one tiny little flaw in it, which I'll show you in a minute. But I thought it was a bargain because I think um, these retail around two, £200 at least, I think. Um, if I did know the exact name, I'd know how much it was. And I can't find it on the website. So it might be um, an older style. But nonetheless, I thought it was a bargain. And... Thrifting, yes, I live in Belfast and here um, in the UK and Ireland our thrift shops are really tiny because they're mainly owned by small independent charities and it's really, really hard to find a bargain there because I don't think there's any rules about staff picking through the products before they hit the shelves and also staff can look up in their mobile phones the retail value or the the full value of each item and you know yeah so they're tempted to get the items all for themselves so it's really really hard to pick up um any bargains whatsoever um we have tk max here tk max are really really good and um that you would usually find uh, even rebecca minkoff on our tk max um some michael kors and some other lower end designer goods but i have been watching loads of thrifting videos lately and there is one from a canadian thrifter called miss philly i will put her link um, in the description bar because she is really really funny and it got me so jealous because the thrifting stores over in Canada and the US are absolutely massive. The ones Miss Philly uh, visits are uh, Value Village. That's a really, really popular one. I think the American equivalent is Savers. And I am completely jealous. Now, she specialises in designer bags. And not every time, but most times she goes to that store, she comes out with an absolute bargain. The prices are unbelievable. She gets some um, new items with the tickets on or some really um, used items, but the prices are really, really good. So completely jealous. And it sort of inspired me to look at other ways I could, you know, get a bargain. And I thought about thrifting online. Now there are eBay is one obvious choice, but one other thing is Facebook groups. There are loads of Facebook groups um buy and sell pages or an auction pages as well. And I think it really depends. You can look up um there's actually some groups at the sell, you know, specific items, like there is a group for designer bags and there's a group for designer shoes and so on. And eBay itself, of course, you, although eBay is really, really popular, um, loads of people list their items at weird times. So it ends during the night when everybody's asleep. So you can pick up a bargain then. And also what's really, really important on any platform that you sell your goods is photographs. Photographs make and break an item. And I think this is what happened to this little bag. The, I don't think the photographs did the bag justice um yeah and i think that's why nobody popped on it and also i think maybe in this case the color this is a sort of a light baby pink and this is winter and i think just there was no interest in it but i thought no i'm not into pink bags but i thought coming up to the spring that i'd maybe keep this and sell it later on in the spring when there is more interest in pink bags so I definitely, yeah, grabbed a little bargain here. And there is absolutely, it is 
marked. I mean, the seller said it was new and not used, and there is definitely no marks at all. There is the little mark that she did say on the handle. And I've literally just got this in through the door. I haven't tried any leather cleaner on it whatsoever. So I'm not sure if the leather cleaner will take that off. But I'm not. it really is just really just a minor little flaw. But um, on the rest of the bag, there, it's in absolutely pristine condition. And as well, on the outside of it as well. I just love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the hardware on the handles on this bag. I just think it's... Um, or something different. It comes with a crossbody strap as well, which is really good and just makes the, the bag more versatile. Um, the back of the bag I love as well because it has this pocket. It is sort of opened and then you just flap that little flap up and in the inside there it has the same lining as well. So we just open it up and I love the tassels on the, the zipper as well and it is authentic that's the only thing about buying online you really do have to do a lot of research and make sure your item is genuine and I know this is genuine and always pay through PayPal because PayPal offer the money back guarantee if you're not happy with your item and it came with a little dust bag and the inside is definitely 100% not used. There's no marks on it whatsoever. So, a little zipper by the zipper, and I think there's a little card. It's a little Rebecca Mink of card in there, and then just underneath the zipper pocket is another smaller. Ugh. smaller open pocket and then if we flip it over we have a wider open pocket I mean it's definitely big enough for a phone so um yeah I am definitely really really happy with this bag for 25 pounds as I say it's got to be worth at least um just under the 200 pound mark um, but if you do know the name of the bag, please feel free to leave it in the comments. It'll just help me figure out how much the bag is worth. But I absolutely love it. Uh, yep, yeah, and I will be looking for more bags now. So, yep, yeah, thank you for watching if you made it to the end of this video. And I hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening wherever you are. Thank you. Bye-bye.